Okay, Vetus. You know, you're you're unfortunately the first person voted out of Survivor Second Chance. Um, tell us just what's going through your mind right now. I mean, you know, it's tough because it, it happened two months ago, but, you know, watching the episode last night brought back all the emotions for me. You know, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. I mean, I'm not angry at anybody. I'm not pissed at anybody, but I just, yeah, I wish I could have done better. You know, I had so many hopes going into the season. It's just, uh, yeah, it's a bummer. Mm, you know, a lot of people, myself included, thought that you would really shine the season because you were no longer in the shadow of your brother. Um, so what do you think happened? Was there one thing that caused you to be eliminated? I think that maybe you, maybe you thought that and other people thought that, but also there's a few people on my tribe that thought that, you know, most notably Shireen. And she Mm -hmm. made sure that other people knew that, like, hey, watch out, Vetus is going to, you know, he's going to be guns a-blazing this season without ours, and he's really well connected, and you guys, you saw the conversation that she had, and you know, from within about 30 minutes of getting on the beach, she spearheaded the the attack against me. And, uh, you know, kudos to her for doing it well. You know, she rallied the troops. They got me out. Hold on. There's a uh, fire truck coming here. Um, have you heard anything from Ara since your elimination last night? Yeah, I mean, we had we had a big party last night. And uh, Ara has been really loving to me. He knows how disappointing that this is for me. He knows how badly I want it to do well. So... He's been really loving and kind. You know, we haven't had any sort of rivalry about it. I bet that had we finished closer to each other in places, like had I gotten really far, maybe he'd rib me a little bit like, oh, yeah, you got far, but I won. But you know, seeing that if he were, you know, the winner and I was the first boot, you know, we're pretty much at the opposite end of the spectrum. There's not really a lot of competition happening there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fact that there was no scrambling time between the challenge and the tribal council Do you think that also hurt your game? Like, if you had had maybe 30 more minutes, maybe you could have swayed a few more votes toward Abby Maria? I do. I do think that. Uh, You know, I think that a a lot of my strategy was to lay low and not overplay. I thought that going into a second-chance season, a lot of people would probably overplay right out of the gate and kind of shoot themselves in the foot. So that was like, I, I really wanted to make sure I didn't do that. So I was just, you know, focused on the challenge. Of course, I strategized the first few days. Everybody did. But I didn't want to overplay that early. And, uh, you know, I think had I had another hour, even, you're right, even just another 30 minutes after that, it might have turned out differently. It might not have, you know. Who knows? Maybe I was doomed no matter what. But it seemed like Jeff Varner had swayed his vote kind of at the last minute at Pebble Council. Um, I think I could have rallied more people just behind the logic that, hey, you know what? I get that you guys become a threat. You can still vote me out next time, all right? You'll still have five to four if we vote out Abby. But Abby Mm -hmm. is a threat to our tribe harmony, to our tribe unity. We have to, you know, we want to stay strong. I think that Takeo is really going to struggle without me there. You know, I think that they're going to struggle in the next unity challenge. I think that, you know, like with Abby around, I think they're going to have some divisive stuff happening at tribal. It's going to be hard for them. Uh, We have a a Twitter question from Semper Fi. He wants to know, strategy-wise, who do you think you maybe could have swayed your way if, if you had more time? Uh, I think that – I think the alliances were pretty set um, as far as, like, I know that Shireen and Kelly Wentworth were kind of championing their end, and they had Shireen as a part of their group, and they had, you know, Spencer as a part of their group. Uh, I think Varner was somebody who was in the middle. I do – I think that – I do think that PG. I do think that – PG is somebody that I could have, you know, swayed a little bit to vote out Abby because of the whole bracelet thing. You know, had I <laughs> had I realized that, hey, if people are gunning for me, maybe I could have taken a, a, a another bracelet and put it into PG's bag of Abby. You know, I, <laughs> yeah. I could have stirred something up. I could have stirred something up to make people just really like, hey, why is Abby here? You know, because she was gripping on people, but that day it just so happened that she wasn't. You know, people kind of forgot about it that day and were, oh, Beatus is a threat. We got to get out the big threat, which is, I think, a lot to do early on. You know, I, I think that, you know, it, it's a place of fear. To get out a big threat that early, you're playing from fear. And uh, I think those people aren't going to do well if they're playing from fear. Hey, do you know why the tribes were divided in the way that they were? Was it just completely random? Uh, 
I don't think there was completely random at all. The tribes were divided to make sure that people from the same seasons were separated. You know, so like Sierra and I were separated. Now, some seasons when you have more than two players, like San Juan del Sur, they have two on one, one on the other. Or Cagayan, they had two on one, two on the other. But they tried to separate the best they could from people who had seasons together. That's what I think that they wanted to. They didn't want to have four Cagayan on one tribe or, you know, yeah. me and Sierra on run. But they wanted to make sure we were split up. Do you think maybe it could have lasted longer if you had been placed on the other tribe and maybe Sierra was on yours? I don't know. I mean, me and Sierra were only two, you know. I mean, that's a, that's a small number. You know, I, I think that I, even though I, I was dealt, like, not a great hand, I think that it was a hand that was workable. I could have played it. I just didn't play it the right way. I think on the other tribe, maybe, people aren't looking as – who's a big threat early on. Maybe the other tribe, there's so, so many big threats like Joey Amazing or Jeremy or Tasha that, you know, maybe I would have blended in a little bit with as far as threats go, you know. Like, I, yes, I, I'm a strategic, I guess you could say, villain guy, but, you know, there's there's big threats on the season. I mean, I'm not the only one. Right, right. Um, the three people that didn't vote for you were Terry Wu and Kelly Wigglesworth, I believe. Uh, was that because you guys had a, uh, a, an alliance, or was it just a, a bond, a friendship? No, yeah, it's just a I mean, Kelly Wigglesworth, she has a son the same age as my son, and we both mm-hmm. are yoga teachers. I mean, there's an obvious friendship. I, yes, it was also alliance. But I think for there's alliances that don't translate into friendships. There's people that you align with. You're like, man, I, I don't want to be friends with that person. But Kelly, and did, if she didn't live in some remote Mexican city, we would definitely be hanging out regularly. <laughs> what do you think of the new twist that the Hidden Immunity Idol is actually at the challenge? Um, and, w- and would you have grabbed it like Kelly Wentworth did, or would you have been too, you know, scared that you'd be seen? What was the question again? Repeat it one more time. Uh, the new twist this season that the Hidden Immunity Idol is at the challenge. What do you What do you think of that? Oh, I love it. I think it's a great twist, and I'm excited to see how it plays out. I, I wish I was a part of the season to kind of be a part of it playing out, but I'm really mm-hmm. excited to kind of like how people find out about it. It's one of those things, like, I, you know, I wouldn't tell anybody if I knew, you know, idols were in the challenge. But at the same time, you know, it's you know, maybe sometimes you have to tell people to, like, get them good in your alliance or to build trust. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out and how challenges are going to be run when people know that there's idols in there. Was there anything that happened to you out there that we didn't get to see on TV, like something really, really memorable? Not really. I mean, it was beautiful. You know, I love the island experience of Survivor. It, you know, it was a stunning location. I, uh, yeah, I loved the, the 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 scramble for supplies in the beginning was spectacular. It was so much fun. I was so happy to be a part of it. Um, mm-hmm. But for the most part, you know, like you saw. You saw what happened, which was just like, you know, like people thought it was a threat and got me out. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I guess a couple things you didn't see were that, you know, me and Spencer had a friendship. And Spencer and I have been mm-hmm. friends since he was on Kageon. And he's been out to L.A. He spent the night at my house. You know, we've we've spent time together. And we shared a lot of information on the show that they didn't show. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, it was tough. It was tough to see that he went against me because we did have that friendship. And, and, and I know it's a game. And I know you know hard feelings. I thought our friendship would at least last half the first vote, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it, it, it would go so fast. I didn't. I thought. I, was, I thought. Oh, we'll get to the merge together. We'll get far together, and then it's some game. You know, one of us will cut each other. But I didn't think it'd be a I'm going to go against you right away thing. It's tough, man. It's tough to be out there. It's, you know, it's, it's a game where everybody's lying to each other, everybody's misleading each other, and you just try not your best not to take it personally. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, last question, Vitas. We do predictions here at Gold Derby, and right now the predicted winner is Kelly Wentworth. Who do you think is going to win Survivor Second Chance? Uh, who do I think is going to win? Uh, I'm, I'll tell you who I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for okay. Barry, who's my alliance, and I'm rooting for my girl Sierra, who's on Blood vs. Water with. And I'm rooting for them, too, and I hope they do great. Uh, it looks like it looks like Jeremy's in a good spot over on Bayon. It seems like he's kind of running that alliance a little bit. He's, kind of, he's got good relationships over there. And mm-hmm. I'm curious to see if he does well, too. Awesome. Well, thanks, thanks for chatting with us. We'll see you over at the reunion in a few months. Cool, man. It was great talking to you. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.